Enoch Mlangani is a self-taught visual artist who did not let his inability to attend art school defer his dream of becoming an artist. It was after high school that he dedicated his time and energy into expressing himself through his art. He practiced various art techniques from pen and paper drawings to acrylics and is now currently using coffee granules as a form of art. Join the conversation online if you have any questions for Enoch and tell us if you have any self-taught skills yourself. Please remember to use the hashtag Afternoon Express in your comments. Welcome to the show, Enoch. Hi, it's nice to be here. Thank you. I first became aware of your work when I saw the piece that you did um, of black coffee. Yeah. And then I realized that you actually had done the piece with co black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. sheer genius. How did you come up with the idea of using coffee as a medium? Uh, when I started doing it, I used to like materials. Yeah. So I used to experiment a lot with different things yeah. from papers, pencils, anything that, 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 that was at my disposal, I will use it. And the other day I was busy doing my work and the coffee spilled on my piece. Yeah. And I, I couldn't remove the mark. So I had to be creative with it. So what can I do with this? Then that's when I started doing different mixes of coffee. And I said, okay, this can be something. Then I started doing the first piece and posted it on my social media. And people liked the idea of the coffee art. Yeah. And that's how the idea developed from there. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, how does it wear? Like, how, like, if I had to buy one of your paintings, what is the, like, how long will the coffee last? Will, will I be able to hang it up and it'll last forever? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or do you have to put some kind of sealer on that will last? Yeah, I was we keep expecting it? that question because <laughs> <laughs> coffee is a consumable product. Yeah. And I had to, like, I asked myself, how, how can I put it there so that it can stay forever? Yeah. And I quite, uh, like, developed some. Uh, recepts yeah. <laughs> to keep it there permanently, but Amazing. I can't share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't tell us what it is, yeah. otherwise everyone's going to be using yes. coffee. But it's absolutely beautiful. Tell us a little bit about this piece about Mandela. Uh, this piece, uh, I, I, I was actually dedicating this to him because he has played a huge role in our lives. So the inspiration he is to, like globally, not only in yeah, South Africa. Of yeah, so I think we can be the Mandelas of today. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully we all can. <laughs> that would be yeah. the goal. So now, where do you see your art moving forward? Are you only ever going to use coffee as a medium? Or when you become really, really famous and all your artworks are just ridiculously expensive, do you think you'll be using other forms of paints and pens and pencils and etc.? Yes, uh, co coffee will remain my signature. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm still experimenting some of the stuff, some of the new things. And yeah trying to get waste in, in, in my artworks yeah. as time goes on. And from here, um, we are busy with the studio. Yeah, and in 10 years, maybe I want to open my own academy for the yeah. disadvantaged uh, yeah. Yeah, people. Well, you've already got the Shack Art Gallery or, or Art Studio. What exactly is that? So the idea of the Shack uh, is it's where we take disadvantaged people from the community. Yeah and give them art classes and Amazing. teach them about art. And the idea is to teach the whole community in general the yeah. importance of art. Yeah. So do you actually sit in the shack and then teach all these kids? You must see such an amazing wealth of talent there. <laughs> yes, because I, I think, it, and it's true, every kid is born an artist, but yeah. the problem is how you remain an artist. And true. with all the challenges that they face, it's hard for them to to go over the cloud that, that, is, that is stopping them from reaching their dreams. Wow, so, I hope these kids know how lucky they are having you mentor them and guide them through their art yes, leadership. Yeah. That is amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's see what South Africa has to say about your gorgeous pieces. You. Absolutely gorgeous indeed. So we've asked you on our socials if you have any questions for Enoch and if you could, and if you could have any self-taught skills, what are they? So we've got Sammy the artist who commented, I have some skills too, but what advice advice would you give to other artists who are struggling to get clients and what steps can they take to be popular or known like you? Did you get that uh, question? Yes. Um, I, I use social media a lot because 
I think it's something that everybody can access. This that that is easy and mm. cheap to access. So I think social media is the best way to go now because yeah. everyone is always on, on their phone. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So be sure to follow Enoch then on his Instagram and uh, give him a little follow. All those inf th those details will be on our website. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here.